Ow, Every no. cheesecake squirted out of this machine costs twice as much to make than it did a few years ago. Ooh. Junior's pumps out, bakes, and packages five million cheesecakes a year. I love and the cheesecake company's used the same recipe really since night. the 1950s, but it's gotten a lot harder. First, there was a cream cheese shortage. You can't make cheesecake without cream cheese. Oh. And now, inflation has caused the prices of other ingredients to soar. Thanks, Obama! Thanks! That's what people used to be saying, right? Thanks, Obama! I guess we could say, thanks, Biden! Thanks, Biden! Chat, who are you guys gonna vote for? For 2024? Who are you guys gonna vote for? I'm gonna be honest, we're kind of f***ed either way, to be honest. It's illusion of choice, we're all gonna die soon. <laughs> I've been doing this for 33 years, and I've never seen a time like this, ever. And I can venture to say, if my father was alive, he never No saw politics at the table, he <laughs> Now that he's taken over, Alan expects a tough work ethic out of all of his employees. The sandwich is not great, Moss. Am I wrong? Goddamn. Third generation owner Alan Rosen takes us behind the scenes. It's like watching a baby being born to me. Kenji for president. Dude, I would I would send us to war. Do you understand? Well, I would be the worst president ever. I would I would have such a big ego and pride. Let a mother like shake my hand weird i'm gonna just stare i'm like i'm like what what my do you know who i am i'm the mother i'm america's president bitch. you know what nuke hit the button everybody die fuck it. like what are we talking about here to see how juniors keeps rolling out its famous cheesecakes in the face of shrinking margins <laughs> here in new york <laughs> city juniors is an institution but <laughs> its cheesecakes aren't actually made in the city anymore in 2015 the company moved to this new jersey plant when we took took over this building because we didn't have the space to do it out of Queens. 240 workers whip up millions of cheesecakes and layer cakes here every year. I love Not cheesecake. surprisingly, every batch starts with the most important ingredient. What's it this year we'll What's probably go through about seven million pounds of cream cheese. Damn. Juniors partners with Kraft Heinz, the maker. I love cream cheese, bro. When I put when I make bagels, I put hella cream cheese on my bagel i'm not gonna lie to you Yo, i went over to my friend's house and i was making a bagel and, and his sister said matter of fact riv y'all know riv dog why i'm saying friend y'all know riv dog. his sister was watching me make a bagel i'm not gonna lie to you. she was like damn that's a lot of cream cheese jay i was like i know i love cream cheese it's my favorite thing ever she looked at me with disgust i don't care though i love cream cheese cream cheese is the best thing ever i'm talking i lather my sh bro can love cream cheese philadelphia cream cheese workers unwrap each of those giant blocks of cream cheese and tip them into the mixing bowl. Mm. So far we have cream cheese, we have sugar, mm. we have eggs, still to come we have some heavy cream, some vanilla, and I think that's just about it. It's kind of simple. Workers nice. roll these giant mixing bowls over to the assembly line. To speed up production, Allen added automatic depositors. It gets pumped up here into here. This is going to meter out exactly the right amount. First, workers drop a slice of vanilla cake, not graham cracker crust, into each pan. We use cake on the bottom because this is a recipe that my grandfather created in 1950. It's a lot of work just to make the bottoms. Slowly, the pump works its way through the entire batch of batter, plopping perfect plopping. into each blah, pan. Blah, 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 blah. Then this guy knocks out any excess air. Blah, 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 On blah. this line, they're making strawberry swirl. I mean, cheesecake. I'm all for, I'm, listen, I'm all for humans, you know what I mean, not being taken over by AI and robots, but I'm just saying, I just watched like a, a M&M uh, M &M video and them were flying. They were making like millions of M&Ms per like second. You know what I mean? So I'm just saying this one dude, it don't even look like he want to be there really. Fire his ass. I'm sure we could get a robot to do this. No, you know what I mean? No. Okay. Bro, I only say, that, listen, I know there's probably someone mad as the only reason I'm saying this is look at his nasty ass arm hair. I'm just saying, if I see one little arm, he needs a hair net for his arms. Hella long. A, a simple breeze will knock them into my, my cheesecake. I'll be mad as hell. On this line, they're making strawberry swirl cheesecake. Whoa. The swirl used to be piped by hand, but this robot took over the gig in 2017. That's what I'm talking about, Next, America, the baby. Head to baking. But this step also has a unique twist. A lot of bakeries use rack ovens where you just slide the whole rack in, you slide the whole rack out. It doesn't work for our cheesecake. His team bakes the dense cakes in a water bath. Spreads Whoa. the heat evenly. The bottoms of the cakes don't burn. They rise up like a souffle. You can see how the cakes are literally cheesecake. above the pan. 
When they're golden brown, workers pull out the trays and pour out leftover water. Look how they jiggle. Then they test the internal temperature. They take temperatures for food safety, but I can see with my eyes. After they've rested, the cakes aren't jiggly anymore. We don't do jiggly, we do juniors. What? Using this repurposed pizza oven, bakers can heat the pans just enough to release the settled cakes. After the cheesecakes get depanned, we bring them into our blast freezer. Alan keeps it at a balmy zero degrees inside. Damn. But it's not just plain or swirled cheesecakes in this freezer. The company whips up dozens of different flavors of cheesecakes, layer cakes, and desserts. Ew. The chocolate mousse cheese. That shit look nasty, dude. I'm gonna be honest, cheesecake by itself is so good, but my does add too much to it. Cake is hit with a heaping pile of mousse, doused in a waterfall of chocolate, and covered in mini chocolate chips. There's also the pumpkin layer cake cheesecake. Mm. Robots and bakers work together to ice it. Whoa. Leftover cake tops are ground up to make the crumb that Ooh. goes around the edges. All the finished and chilled cakes converge on the packaging line. From the pumpkin That's cheesecake some to the 24 mini cheesecake variety pack bound for Costco. That's what I do to be. That's what I do to be nipples. I'll be like, come here. Ha, 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 ha. Pop them tits out. I'm sorry. Pack bound for Costco. Workers place each cake in a box, slap on a label, and put it in an what? even bigger box. What the fuck am I that all heads to the freezer a second time. I'm so sorry. This will all be gone within 30 days. Right now, it's enough space, but I can see maybe next year. A They're not poppets. Says who? This is going around the whole country. <laughs> Most who? of the six inch cheesecakes end up in one of the 12,000 supermarkets supplied by juniors. From Wegmans to Kroger, Publix, Stop and Shop, ShopRite. Alan's grandfather, Harry Rosen, opened up the first Junior's location on Election Day in 1950. Whoa. He said, if we're going to be a great restaurant in New York, we have to have great cheesecake. Some people venture to guess that my grandfather named it after his two sons, Walter and Marvin, my father and my uncle, but, you know, Jews don't really do the Junior thing, so that's a little out the window. Over the next few decades, Junior's popularity soared. It wasn't long before celebrities and politicians were Uncle, digging that into Steve these Harvey? iconic slices. We started a mail order business. Obama! Uh, you the reason why these motherfuckers cost about like $76 for one cheesecake, you bitch! My fault. Where food by mail was a thing, and people were calling from Florida and California. Then in 1995, we met QVC. They were doing a search for America's best products state by state. We went on and we- Chad, look at the top of his head. Do you think he should just shave it all off? Do you think he should just cut it all off? Like, he's rocking it. No, yes, no, yes, yes, no. Yes, yes, no. Let it go, man. Yes, no, yes. You need to go to Turkey. Turkey's where it's at, chat. I'm gonna be honest, bro. I don't go. I could go bald, chat. I'm getting me a sick ass wig or something, dude. I'm gonna have some crap. I'm gonna have some luxurious hair. You know what I mean? Ain't no one going no. I'm gonna have my flowing like this. Hey, hey. The wind hit a little too hard. I'm like, hey. Oh, shit, no. My wig. <laughs> I, I am my wig. My fault. I'm sorry. Play the, play the video. They were doing a search for America's best products state by state. We went on and we, I think we sold 2,400 cheesecakes in like six or seven minutes. Are Today, you already junior? bald? No, bitch. I, got, I gave myself a buzz cut. Being bald and having a buzz cut is two different things. I might be balding though. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay. The, the hairline is not what it used to be. Okay. I'm starting. I'm looking in the mirror and I'm like, buddy, where are you going? Hey, come back here. Hey, cut that out. Okay. After I and gave myself a buzz cut and I was like, wait a minute, something ain't right. Here's has four restaurants in the New York area. Nom, nom, nom. A quick service at LaGuardia Airport, a direct-to-consumer business, and a booming retail presence. Oh, we're definitely the biggest cheesecake company in New York. So the top seller in our restaurants is either strawberry cheesecake or New York style cheesecake. Visitors from all over the world stop in for a slice. Yeah, my name is uh, Marvin. I'm from Germany. Brownie explosion cheesecake. Um, Ooh, I think that it's, looks it's good. Like a full meal. <laughs> but keeping up I with love all brownies. this demand for cheesecake hasn't been easy, even for a giant like Junior's. Like that's just too. Look at all that extra. I don't like this. I feel like it's mass sweet and just. In 2020, this. the pan shut down all of the restaurants. I, I sort of joked with my mom that thankfully my dad was predeceased, you know, was deceased before COVID because COVID would have killed him, not the disease, but the fact that his restaurants, his babies, oh, damn. Were, were not doing what they were supposed to do for in some cases, 14 or 19 months. Oh, wow. At the time, the company's direct-to-consumer sales actually doubled. 
But then came the great cream cheese shortage of 2021. Oh no. Last year we started to, like we heard about it and then all of a sudden, Jason calls me and says, there's no cream cheese. I'm like, well, what do you mean there's no cream cheese? You can't make- How do you, you run out of cream cheese? cheese? Cream cheese. A cyber attack hit a cream cheese factory in Wisconsin. It wasn't Philadelphia's facility, but Kraft faced spiking demand- A and cyber attack? Who the f is hacking into Utah for some cream cheese? What? And how's there a shortage from that? Supply chain issues of its own. The company struggled to get a hold of starch thickeners and packaging materials. Without any cream cheese, Allen had to shut down the factory. And the team missed a couple of big orders. And a couple of orders for us are trailers full, about 70, I think 70,000 pounds. So Dang. it's a big deal. I was, I was sweating it out pretty good. By early 2022, Kraft had restored cream cheese supplies to juniors. So we are one of the biggest users of cream cheese in the country. Just in time for inflation to hit. Every ingredient is up right now, from eggs to sugar, heavy cream, but cream cheese is definitely the, the highest priced ingredient that we use right now. Eggs Alan are says hella the price expensive. Juniors pays for cream cheese more than doubled, from $1.50 a pound to over $3. It's the demand, um, you know, it's based off of the butter markets and dairy prices are just very high right now. Big market and money, I guess, and they have to shut down because they can probably get into shipping and financial docu uh, documents. Basically a big old dock. So they're like doxing a whole industry of cream cheese. What I would do if I was one of the hackers, I would buy all the cream cheese in the world and then I would hack everybody. And then I would sell my cream cheese at triple the cost everybody will love my cheese right now and that's why it's affecting the price of cream cheese everything is up labor obviously is up junior sales have bounced back to pre-pandemic levels with 110 million in expected sales this year but costs i'm so down for another pandemic bro ew is that a roast beef sandwich you dirty bitch? yeah i'm so down for another pandemic it just made things so like i mean yeah the virus is bad and all that shit, but like dude what kenji please listen to my reason before y'all start attacking me again dude listen chat there's nothing more annoying than being in lines now and someone like right up against you just breathing on the back of your neck like this <sighs> <sighs> like sir back the fuck up. we just had a pandemic you don't think about germs now motherfucker get the fuck out of here no mask on no none of that dude yo throw a mask on just because your breath hot and then back up seven feet dirty because you smell like straight shit. You know what I mean? Everything was just open and nice and open. I loved it, bro. You know what I mean? I'm not going to lie to you. 10 feet. Yeah. Average Bo Jiden. What do you mean average Bo Jiden? Fuck that old man. It did so dramatically that profits in the restaurant business and the wholesale business are way down. Allen said profit margins dropped by 6%. Oh, it's brutal. No, there's no doubt. It is the oh, hardest man. time in my, I mean, I've been doing this for 33 years wow. and I've never seen a time like oh, this. Oh, billionaires and millionaires missing out on profit margins. Oh, so bad. Oh man. How about me? I couldn't get toilet paper, buddy. F your cream cheese. I had to use my shirt to wipe my ass. So Alan made the decision to raise prices. You ever use Chick-fil-A napkins to wipe your ass? Mm, have you? It feels like sandpaper. F you. Our product cost has literally doubled for cheesecake. Doubled. We can't double our prices. That's impossible. But Allen says higher retail prices haven't stopped customers. No, not at all. I've had their cheesecake hundreds of times over, over many years, believe it or not. Yeah. When I was a kid. Restaurants I'm, kind of around I'm where not you're believing from at all. ordered this cheesecake um, to be shipped to Oklahoma City. But even Jesus. if food costs continue to rise, me. Alan says he'll never touch the recipe. You know, we Some had to big move shit. people around and reschedule, but we're not changing any recipes here. That's never happening. Yeah. We'd sooner not make cake. Listen, we have a 72 year history of making cheesecake the exact mm, way we're doing that look it, good. exactly the same way forever. We're not changing that. Her voice, so, yeah, she's How annoying. does he plan to stay afloat? One, with those robots, and then with new products, from cheesecake shakes to updated cake flavors. If you ever, ooh, that red velvet one looks fire. Like this strawberry Christmas cheesecake. Mmm. Oh my God. That is so good. That don't look good. And finally, Alan says diversifying helped him weather the storms of recent years. Of course, Junior's has the restaurants, but what it makes from supermarket sales is quickly catching up. I, I would say it's about 50-50. The restaurants drive about half the volume of the company and this drives about half the volume of the company. I think the fact that we are diversified is what saved us. But is this business sustainable if food prices keep increasing? 
You know what? It, it's the tell will be in the next three months. I think it's sustainable because I'm a big believer in our business and how good we are at it, and that people are always going to want to cheese. Ew! Food. I just nut all over the floor. I mean, this is cool. This is a cool little video. Man, strawberry. This sh is nasty. They showed that thing like three times during the video. That looks gross. I'm not going to lie to you. Chat, what's your favorite dessert? Because I'm gonna have to go if I got to do a top three ranking. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Um, brownies, cheesecake and like a deep dish cookie like a deep dish chocolate cookie like warm like a skillet you feel me with some ice cream on top mm. am i cheating is that too many desserts in one i don't care that's the fire shit.